Hi, this is Sonia Slow with n Ido Television. Today I'm outside of Little Theater and there's a show called These Shining Lives. Can you introduce yourself? Yes, my name is Sarah Butts. I'm a third year MFA directing candidate here at UCI. How did you like the show? Um, I loved working on the show. Um, it was a really fun process. I had a great group of actors and designers to work with. So, um, yeah, it was a great time. What is your favorite part of this show? What I really love about the, the play is that um, there's moments, that, the emotional roller coaster that is in the play, there's moments, um, of course, it's very heavy, but then there's moments of um, great comedy in the piece as well. And I just love how. Um, I think it's, it's very touching and powerful. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Can you introduce yourself? Certainly. I'm Wynn Woods, and I was the dramaturg for These Shining Lives. How do you like the show? I think the show is um, incredible. I think it's a very poetic piece. I'm a big fan of Melanie Marnick's work. But I think in this play, there's so much um, poetry and kind of blurring of realism and kind of um, expressionism that we were allowed to play with a lot of the aesthetics. So I'm excited about the possibilities that this play has. Can you give us a little bit of um, introduction of the show? Like Certainly. <laughs> the show is about um, a real historical event around uh, women who are working in radium companies that uh, painted uh, radium paint on watch dials so they'd glow, especially around World War I. Um, but then they be, the watches became kind of like a, a luxury item to have because you could have time glow on your wrist. So what they didn't realize, though, was that the, with the innovation of radium, coming um i had all these uses uh, medicinal uses and it was also just kind of this wonder of the world that there was also negative side effects and so the show kind of gives voice to these women that many of them died because of radium poisoning which brought on cancer and other uh, medical issues so it's a way of kind of restaging this lost history which i think uh marnik our playwright does very well in a poetic way thank you very much can you introduce yourself? Yes, my name is Pam Marsden and I am property supervisor for the Claire Trevor School of the Arts. How did this set evolve? Um, well, the scenic designer developed a very simple box set so that we did not have a lot of movie scenery. The um, theater space here is very small and uh, we came up with a way to represent the warehouse space where women painted watch dials and that's at the heart of the play, also the center of the stage and elevated a tiny bit. We also had space where it was a flexible space that became a doctor's office, the uh, work doctor's office, a courtroom, uh, sitting by the uh, by the one of the Great Lakes, and then another small representation of home. Uh, the main character and her husband uh, are uh, in another part of the play. So um, that's how we kept it very simple. Very few set pieces moved on and off, just like a blanket and a beach chair. And um, because the things don't didn't need to tell the story. The, the words were so strong, the words are so poetic and beautiful that we felt more things would minimize the impact of the story. Thank yeah. you very much. You're welcome. What brings you here today? Uh, I came to see some of my friends in the play. How did you like the show? Uh, it's a beautiful show. It's beautiful and touching and informative and powerful. Mm -hmm. What was your like most favorite part? I enjoy how how moving the story is while also being informative. It's for a purpose, which is teaching us about this moment in history where uh, the, specifically the state of Illinois, but also uh, a landmark case for uh, employees, mm -hmm. for employer, em employee rights. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Hi. What brings you here t today? He got the tickets. I didn't know anything about the show. Mm -hmm. Found it incredibly powerful and moving. Oh. I mean, the performance was just incredible. Mm -hmm. I mean, each and every one of them was so powerful and still instilled some humor and um, it really opened my eyes. I had no idea of uh, this one woman and her friends mm -hmm. really changed every worker's life, you know, from that point forward, making companies responsible, you know, mm -hmm. so it was was really eye-opening. Do you come to UCI a lot? We were here actually went to see Manila Mancha 
a few, oh. few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So we enjoy that also. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you maybe like find another show that you can watch? We are. Mm -hmm. We find it very enjoyable. The performances are excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, the students do marvelous, mm -hmm. marvelous jobs. And it's a tremendous value also. And it's a beautiful campus and the facilities are gorgeous. <laughs> So I encourage everyone to, to come to UCI and see in a, a performance. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.